let's just talk about tongues the bible tells us that there are diverse kinds of tongues everybody say diverse kinds of tongues when the bible says diverse that means that there are different kinds of tongues probably i think one of the greatest conflicts between and thank god for great men of god like reverend tende who wrote a book i think it was a book particularly tailor made to the northern church to help most every christian pray in tongues wonderful text you can get it and read it it was an attempt to give a, a very solid 21st century biblical foundation because probably one of the greatest points of conflict between the pentecostal charismatic and the orthodox is this dividing line of this subject of tongues is that true many of us come from backgrounds and families where people have different kinds of responses some of us even as we are now probably we are still there's an internal war over the issue of tongues the bible talks of diverse kinds of tongues and in first corinthians 13 paul gives us a little he opened it more to us he says though i speak with tongues of men and tongues of angels tongues of men refer to any earthly language the language understood by men used by inhabitants upon the earth the tongues of angels refer to supernatural communications not just languages used by angels angelios messengers any being that hails from the realm of the spirit communicating a language that is not known to men is called the tongues of angel it was an ancient way of communicating spiritual things the bible and theologically speaking identifies broadly speaking three kinds of tongues number one is what we call tongues for personal edification and growth you may want to write it down maybe you will help somebody with it tongues for personal edification and growth first corinthians 14 and verse 2 the bible speaks there he says he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men but to god not unto men but to god so there is tongues that is for personal edification and growth there's tongues that the bible says that is a sign to unbelievers are we together as was the case in acts chapter 2 when you read from verse 4 to 12 the day of pentecost the bible says that the people were filled with the holy ghost and began to speak in tongues and among the many variations of tongues they were communicating earthly languages are we together and most of the people came and heard them let's go to verse 6 just give us verse 6 and let's let's look at what it says and when the sound occurred the multitudes came together and they were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language can you imagine almost every language there was represented someone was communicating it now the communicators did not even know what language they were speaking but the listeners they were not just speaking a language in the spirit and interpreting it they were communicating a language they never learned hallelujah a sign to unbelievers history is full of people who have done that it happened to kenneth e hagin it happened to rw shambach of blessed memories people who would go to certain lands to preach and there would be no interpreter and the power of god would fall on them and they would preach in chinese fluently for that period of time afterwards everything goes down so there is tongues as a sign to unbelievers then number three there is tongues as a ministry gift tongues as a ministry gift for the edification of the body tongues as a ministry gift for the edification of the body first corinthians chapter 14 when you read from verse 4 and 5 5 particularly the bible talks to us about that tongues very important It says i wish you all spoke with tongues but even more that you should prophesy it says for he who prophesies is greater than he who speaks in tongues unless that means this is the condition for them to become equal we are coming there that the one prophesies is greater than the one who manifests these kinds of tongues unless 
That means the moment there is an interpreter, what he's speaking and the interpretation will equal prophecy. Are we together now? Yes. Now let me show you where the confusion is before we talk about diverse kinds of tongues. Give us verse 29 and 30. This is where many people have erroneously carved out a basis for confusion. 12, 29 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 12, 12, 29 and 30. Are all apostles? What's the answer? No. Are all prophets? No. Are all teachers? No. Are all workers of miracles? No. Watch this now. Do all have gifts of healing? No. Here's where many of our dear, wonderful men and women of God who are well-meaning, love the Lord, but have inaccurate understanding of the word of God. This is where the confusion has come. It says, do all speak with tongues? Now look at what context of tongues. The next verse, do all interpret. So he's talking about tongues as a ministry gift. Not tongues as for your personal edification. Are we together now? Not everybody will manifest the gift of diverse kinds of tongues. What is it really? The gift of diverse kinds of tongues is a supernatural communication. Listen. Prophecy in an unknown, unknown, an unknown language. Be it heavenly or earthly. Prophecy in an unknown language. You are communicating a word from the Lord to the people of God. But it is in a language that is not known by you the speaker. And most, most often than not by the listeners. When you communicate a word from the Lord that is supposed to edify the people. Are we together now? But it's just that it came in a language that is not known by you, the speaker, nor the listeners. There must be, the Spirit of God must move upon you, the speaker, or another person to break down that spiritual message you brought so that the listeners can hear and apply their faith to it and receive. So when I begin to say everybody pray in tongues, there are a number of people who have problem with it and say, no, it's not in the Bible. It, it was there in the day of Pentecost. The church in Corinth were manifesting it. In fact, let me tell you this. Paul himself made a very profound statement and he said, I thank my God I pray in tongues more than ye all. When you read 1 Corinthians 14 verse 18 and then you read verse 39. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 18 and then verse 39, he says, I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all. Paul is saying, look, 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 I pray in tongues more than ye all. Not just that I, I interpret all of this. See that? It is important. Please listen to me. If you are here seated, maybe you are just coming today inside or outside. And you have shortchanged yourself because you have probably been sincerely but wrongly indoctrinated. That praying in tongues is a gift that is for a few people the person who communicated that is not in error he was only incomplete is that true what kind of tongues if he means the gift of diverse kinds of tongues he's correct it's not for everybody the bible says that and where that gift is manifested it is only beneficial to the body if there is an interpreter the individual who communicated it or another person but the Bible says the tongues for edification does not need interpretation because not speaking to men, we are speaking to God.